Beginner's Guide to Watercolors, number eight, negative painting. What is negative painting? How do we use this technique in watercolors? I explain negative painting in this step-by-step -step tutorial. Hi. Welcome to Brenda Beattie's Brushstrokes, and I'm Brenda Beattie. This channel is all about art, drawing, painting with acrylics, watercolors, and ink. It has tips and tricks, as well as step-by-step -step tutorials. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe and press the bell so that you'll be notified each time I create a new video. What is negative painting? With negative painting, we paint the background of the subject rather than the subject itself. My name at the top of the page is a positive image. My name underneath it is a negative image. This is an example of trees painted with the negative uh, technique. And we will try a few practice exercises before we go on to a painting. Use your watercolor pad, the one for exercises, to practice this technique before using it in a painting. Here I am demonstrating negative painting for trees, wa rocks, and water. We put a first wash down and then it has to dry before we start adding any further details. Just as musicians have to practice to develop their skills, so do artists. Be gentle with yourselves as you learn this new skill. Let painting bring you respite from the troubles of the world and not frustrations. I have mixed several different greens for the trees and I apply them in layers. I add some water in places just so the lines aren't quite so hard. I mix some browns so that I can use the same technique for rocks. I mix different shades of blue so that I can use it for the water. For this landscape, I start out with a drawing. Normally, I would make the drawing fainter or lighter but I want it to show up in the video. I'm using masking for a bush on the left foreground and to preserve some of the white in the waterfall. We learned about masking in the Beginner's Guide to Watercolor number four, Masking. 
I start painting the sky using the wet in wet technique. You learned this one in video number 7, Wet in Wet. The water will reflect the sky, so I will paint it at the same time. I'm painting the waterfall with negative painting behind the splashes at the base of the waterfall. I paint the rocks in the background and the background trees as we did in the exercise. I will use negative painting techniques to paint the trees above the waterfall At this point, the paint needs to dry before I go any further. I'm going to take a break and spend some time with my cat. Now that the paint is dry, I am back to put in more detail. Notice how the colors have dried lighter in some places. I will need to darken them. I finish up with the rocks and add a few more spruce trees. I remove the masking, paint the bushes at the side, and with a few finishing touches, I am done. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and leave me comments. I always read the comments. I'd love to hear what you think about this. Thank you.